think what's in our heads when we're creating this world because you're bringing your background to what you're reading. Right. You know, your, your shade of, you know, Robin's egg blue might be different from mine. Mm -hmm. And that's very personal for you. And it's a very um, customized world that you live in. Whereas, you know, we could both read Jurassic Park mm -hmm. and we have our own ideas of what a T-Rex looks like. But then at the end of the day, if we watch the movie, it's like, okay, Steven Spielberg has the final say on <laughs> what this yeah. T-Rex is going to be. And um, wonderful film. Yeah, it um, But yeah, I think there's really something powerful in the written word and, um, and its legacy, you know, the tradition, the history that comes with it. Um, and I, I don't know, I lose myself when I'm writing. You know, and reading. It's a lot different than when you're filming. You can check out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can check out. Yeah, you can completely check out. Um, but still to say, I think, yeah, the two are very closely linked. Mm -hmm. And um, I really love what's happening in film now with have more voices that are being heard so I think that changes things as well um, when we were growing up all those years ago in the 90s yeah. um, in early 2000s we had more actually the 90s had a nice black renaissance in terms of filmmaking sure. like you have your um, love Jones it was, more diverse. it was more diverse and it wasn't a stereotypical approach to the black experience, you know, in America, or this is what black people do. It was people. A lot of that was created by black people themselves, like with Robert Towns and 